curious to see whether you can, uh, whether there's some type of little cursed orb that lets somebody get second, whether after taking out Slingshot, he could bring himself, at the very least, the way he's playing tonight, I can easily see getting into the top three. He just needs to take this one set in order to bring himself there. And we're going to get off with a quick start here, right in the PSU surprise here. Um, and one thing that Mono does so, so well, you're going to see throughout the set, is that he loves to keep stage control. You're seeing that here. Maintain that stage control with those big disjoints. One thing Lucario most certainly does not really have are those disjoints. Um, and really, Mono can take full advantage of the range advantage that he has. One thing that Mono has also been doing an amazing job with is these baiting moves. He'll throw out a forward air, throw out an up tilt in order to bait the opponent to attack him. A lot of people, they underestimate Mark's frame data. Like right there, you saw VB dash in. He's not able to punish that jab at that distance. And as a result, Mono has this massive lead, but what's a lead to Lucario? Yeah, I mean, we're at the point, at that point here where Mono needs to get the stock off pretty much right now. Looking for the opportunity here with the ledge trap. Not quite going to get it just yet. Looking for a jab. Yeah, the move does not have nearly as much lag as the attempt Smash 4. Double Nair, though. Tipper going to be able to get Lucario off the side of the stage. Nice parry. Okay, just going to opt to get the go for the grab punish. Wasn't confident with anything else. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Oh, especially because at that range, he didn't really have the Tipper hitbox to finish him off. I think that's one advantage Lucario does have possibly in this matchup. We're seeing it right now. Mono's kind of struggling to find a way to actually end it. And as a result, he's sitting at death for a second. Yeah, and you know, you're at this point here. Lucario is using that beer versus Aura Sphere to make that shield pressure. Uh, Marth notably does have good out of shield, but uh, Aura Sphere is so, so safe. Maybe he's going to be able to utilize that. Oh, gosh. And the thing is here is that one thing that Marth does not have is... Um, I don't want to say not a lot of kill power, not a lot of consistent kill power. That F though, one of the few ways that Mono does have that really consistent kill. Tipper F to come to take that stock, and it's a huge one for Mono, taking that uh, first stock off of Vivi and moving forward into this set. Big, 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 big special kill. Big because Vivi loses all of that rage, all of that aura. He's notorious for still being able to get kills at these lower percents, but nonetheless, I, Mono has so much breathing room, lots of uh, potential to just extend a lead by getting him in one bad position and continuing it. Ooh, yeah, right now, you want to get a little bit of percent of Lucario on that second stock. You don't want to put him into, like, super kill percent necessarily, um, but you do want to get that extra credit. Obviously, as Mono, you're trying to take that stock. Um, but ideally here, ooh, hold on. We got tech chases. Not gonna quite get it right there. Yeah, Mono has not really been able to follow up on those down airs like we've been seeing him do in other sets today. Uh, right as I say that, actually, <laughs> starts to finally find them. But I'm just, I'm loving the way. Oh, okay. Uh, the way he's just placing his moves, throwing out these sort of unexpected hitboxes from Marth in order to connect on his opponent when they're really not expecting. It. And that Orsi is looking super deadly. Lucario dash back. We're at that point of order. Down a stock and at 100%. Almost anything was going to kill him. Almost anything did. But Tipper Nair on the neutral get out that lingers forever. And you die if you get hit by that. And, and Mono takes a stock. Yeah. Super big. And one thing that Mono loves to do is he will often, when his opponent's at the ledge, he dashes back. And that dash back covers roll, that sort of thing. And it also puts him at the exact spacing to go for one of those Tipper moves if the opponent is so foolish as to go for a neutral get up. Okay, now Mono got, gets back down to the ground here. Once again, going to try and maintain that strong stage control. Does opt to go for a little bit of a risky down air there. Uh, if Vivi responds with the jab. Vivi now has Mono in the corner. Looking to get a lunch shot. Would be so uh, big for Vivi to get that stock off here. You already are at that percent where Marth is going to put you in the corner. And once you get a high percent versus Marth, he doesn't really kill you necessarily, but he puts you in disadvantage forever at high percents. I will say, look at the way that Vivi has cleaned up the neutral play here. Not relying on Aura, instead just being very careful with his spacing to avoid these combo starters, these hits from Mono. And as a result, he's managed to get all of this damage without taking that much himself. Yeah, and this is by no means any sort of bad deficit for Lucario. You have to be careful here, though. Uh, Mono coming back to the floor with invincibility. Not going to work out. Okay, quick little combo right there for Vivi. 37%. And is already in a position where now Lucario may be in the lead. Uh, just a little bit due to the fact that Marth is Marth. Yeah, I mean, we already... So we've seen one stock where Mono really struggled to kill. Oh, my God. Uh, where he really struggled to kill. And then the other stock where he got, like, a Nair at the ledge. Be, like, at 90 or something. Oh, and Mono's going to need one of those tippers right Dead. now. Goodbye at 83%. 
that large amount of aura for Lucario after an excellently played game by Mono, it still does not end up working out. Vivi takes that game, that up and nearly killed right there, and but that uh, aura cancel into the side B, excellent little bait right there by Vivi. Yeah, and I think it's worth noting that it felt like what made Vivi get that comeback wasn't, you know, aura shenanigans, mm -hmm. which is what we normally know from Lucario. It was the fact that when he got to his last stock, he just cleaned up his play yeah. so much. He was playing exactly around those options that Mono was throwing, avoiding hits, finding little chips of his own, and that's what let him get the comeback and, you know, take the... Just, yeah, any, anybody, if you're playing well, you can you can make a comeback happen like that. Yeah, and, and Vivi just showing how good of a player he is after really an excellent game number one by Mono. Vivi able to take that um, however, Mono going to his counter pick in um, small battlefield. And I like the pick. Um, uh, Triplat was banned in terms of battlefield, so n no surprise that we're going right to small battlefield here. Uh, Mark doesn't love slam, so also no surprise, Yoshi. Yeah, and oh, we're seeing, I feel like that last stock energy from BB is continuing right here. Look at the way he's moving. Carefully placing himself just outside of the range of Mono. And now that Mono's in the corner, even though he doesn't have any aura really, he's still sending him off stage over and over again. Yeah, and really it, it's been the story of now Vivi has been ready for these landings. A lot of uh, parries on those aerials. However, Mono in advantage now. Going to be able to continue the ledge trap with that fair. Ooh, Vivi drop shield there, but the Mars side D as inconsistent as ever. Going to drop there. Mono, however, taking a very, very small lead here at the moment in percent. Yeah. Cannot catch that rolling with Venere. This next stock is so pivotal. If Mono manages to take it, which he does with a beautiful anti-air up tilt, you know, I feel like that way that VP had been playing the neutral effectively was by jumping into the air a lot. Mono had been punishing it. He was saving it right for that moment, that sweet spot on the up tilt, able to take the stock. Put him in a very healthy lead right now. Yeah, quick 56 with those up airs. Sour up airs, great for Martha's low percents. Combo super duper well, really not a whole lot of lag, and it's, I believe, only minus. Five on field. Yeah, it's kind of wild. Um, but now Vivi's in a position where he has to take the stock now. Uh, down two stuff as Lucario is really not the deal positioning. Using that dare as a combo starter doesn't end up working out for Mono though. Um, at the ledge, Vivi not gonna get the punish. I, I, the thing is, I feel like Mono was in this exact same position in the last game and it ended up slipping away from him. But I, I like this. He's playing a lot more Ooh. careful this time around. Ooh, that Orphir nearly catching the neutral get up. Mono adjusting that shield out in time. Ooh, quick up tilt in the corner. 108% already on to Vivi. That's a good stock. Yeah, those oh, down the firm so good for that, Vivi. That's a stock and a half right yeah. there. Vanished out of existence. Oh, but and exact same situation as game number one. Mono takes that stock instantly right back. Yeah, and this is very similar to game one in that Mono has this big lead. Let's see if he can recreate that same careful neutral play. Mono, though, I like this. He's actually pressuring more, staying on top of Vivi, throwing out a tiny move and then immediately following up. He's able to get decent percentage here, but the risk of that is you are putting yourself right on Lucario's face and now trapped with the ledge like this. He's taking quite a bit of damage. Yeah, and maybe really the Lud Sharpen game has allowed him to come back into these games to make them fairly close. Um, and right now, a 85 to 41% margin, Vivi down a stock. Uh, it's looking pretty good for uh, Vivi to come take the stock relatively soon. 54 aura and down a stock, but Tech Chase into the F tilt there. 80% already on to Vivi, nearly going down right there to the tipper. Yeah, Lucario just heavy enough not to actually drop it, but look at this. Mono able to pressure the corner so well, but he gets out of it regardless. But for how long, I love the way Mono has adapted here. Not getting caught by these moves, and look at the spacing. Just no chance for Vivi to do those movements, those B-reverses that we normally know him to do. Gets yeah. punished for it immediately as soon as he tries. The, the anti-air from Mono have been so good, knowing that Vivi's going to shoot with a jump, but uh, dash attack going to be enough for Vivi. However, this deficit a little bit larger than the one we saw in game number one. The, a straight hit here, a straight tipper of any sort will absolutely be taking Vivi's stock. Vivi needs to play so, so carefully. Yeah. At the same time, I do feel like Mono is in control, but 
if Vivi is able to continue to survive, he, he, another oh. one went, he'd be a great job right there. Yeah, you have to take that stock there. Vivi was getting on the edge of Max Orr, Max Orr being in that 190% margin. You have to be so careful against the car. You will die at 30. Um, once he does get that like super max aura, uh, you saw how big the aura sphere was there. But on the jump in after the B reverse aura sphere, gonna catch that with that with the forward air, and it's huge for Mono to get that game number two. I want to point out that the previously, you know, he went for that ledge jump aura sphere and got punished for it by the up tilt. He adjusted that time and jump canceled it. But Mono was still one step ahead. He stood there, did not up tilt, reacted to that jump. At that point, there were almost no options left from Vivi, and that's why he went up to meet him with that up forward air. Yeah. And that's just that little level of sort of, you know, the the change in game state between, you know, the middle of a game two where, you know, it's three stocks or two stocks and last stock against the car. Hero? That just shock me. That's, um, I, it kind of does for me. I, I, I mean... I understand the merit here, especially because you're throwing Mono off his game. It felt like he did have a solid understanding on how BB wants to be playing that matchup. But nonetheless, I feel like Hero as a character, he's a sorority that just like his brain data is not able to compete with Mark. And if Mono is able to stay on top of wow, him... Wow, full yeah. Tiver combos with those up bears. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not shocked simply because, um, you, again, you do have that disjoint now. Um, and really, I'm mostly not shocked because Mono was the better player game one for the majority of it, right? Um, Mono had the read, and Vivi recognized that. Save Lucario game two, because now he had a little bit of room to work, but now there's no room to work. You have to figure out what this Marth, and it seems like the um, hero's working out. A lot of anti airs with these projectiles. It's working out currently, but keep in mind that Hero does not have that built-in comeback potential. He definitely has comeback potential with all of his uh, special moves. <laughs> so I'm hovering over the back. Uh, yeah, about to take it. Now Mark can't yeah. use his projectiles on you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, Vivi in a good position here. No double jump, but this off for the ledge right there. Does Mono. No aggressive landing. And no surprise there. Ooh, but the Tomahawk up tilt going to be so good. A classic for Hero. And it just allows here to really get those stocks off because you're so afraid. And not only that, it was the Tomahawk up tilt reversed. So you land on the ground, and that's what the fact that it takes a while to arc over is really what baits the opponent to dropping their shield and getting hit by it. Yeah, and the reason that's so good specifically for Hero is because so many people are going for parries on his aerials, right? Because they're so slow. Um, but if you just Tomahawk up tilt, you're catching out that uh, shield dropping or you're catching a jump out of shield. So you're kind of options looking a little bit right there. However, right now, Mono, not in a terrible position, down 40% on this second stock. Gets a quick punish with that down air on the spot dodge, but not going to be enough to get a full combo just yet. Ooh, and Vivi looking good. It's Elorado. Makes his character top tier. Been saying it. <laughs> oh, and we're back. We're zooming. And oh. now we're strong, too. Christmas tree. Okay, F took with the um, buff there. Not going to be able to take it just yet. Okay, but a fair out of shield and jump away. Gonna be really good for Mono. Maintain stage control now. Looking, wow, that was a full punish on the rising there. Excellent, quick shield by Mono on the, on the boom. You know, be allowed to live that situation up till not safe. Terra fair out of shield. One thing wow. is that Phoebe's disadvantage has been so much better. This That's game. so tough. Uh, I, is there even a window where you can air dodge through all yes, of it? Yes, it's super specific. So unless you like play against Hero every day of the week, you don't know it. <laughs> um, but it's, it's so tough right there. You have to get the stock off now. Uh, Vivi already at 119%. At Good chance here for Mono. However, Vivi now catching these shields, catching these run-ins. Yeah, maintaining stage control. One thing is that VD is kind of running in because he's trying to get inside of Mark's zone. You know, even if he does manage to get a hit, uh, it's not necessarily going to doom him if it's not a Oh, gosh. Yeah, that upbeat not working out for Mono, but is going to be living to see another day, and then up tilt is going to be able to take that stock. Really scary positioning for Mono. You're at 88% already. Oh, gosh. Oh, He's strong. He's fast. He has a low shield. And you died. I killed at 88 center stage. Hero's wild. <laughs> However, that's going to be good moving on into winner's finals. Mono getting sent down into loser semis. Did he or have loser's quarters. both of the buffs, or was it just the one? No, it was just the one. It was just... Gosh, what's what's that one called? I always forget the difference. It's, I know Oomph is one, and the other one is, um, I don't know, you turn into a Super Saiyan. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, Psycho. 
The side cup. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Um, question: Was this a shield poke? Here? It looked like to me. No, he dropped. Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, no, no. I, this is actually not the one here. So Let, he drops shield, yeah. puts it up again. Oh yeah, Mars head is sticking out. You what see that? Was that? I think that's Mars like going into the shield animation. He like sticks his hand out, so you're gonna see up here, folks. What so, is that? So yeah, if we go frame what by frame, go, let's go a couple frames back. There? So when Marth goes into his shield animation, I guess this is how it works. I'm not saying like I knew this already. I'm, I'm, I'm not that good, um, but you can see here when Marth goes into shield animation, he sticks his hand out. So. Because that leaves knows, his hand when you shield. Of course, yes. you need to reach your stylishly hand. just. <laughs> Um, and I think that, yeah, that had to be the reason, right? I mean, that hit Is low. It, or did it hit his toes? It might have hit his little tippy toes. Was it a little the wheel toes? Hold on. Because that's actually really important if it hit the toes instead. Okay. Uh, it looks like he was angling his shield a little bit to the left. Uh, it's hard because of the dust cloud's covering up his foot, but I think his foot is exposed there. Oh, my. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can see it right there. Hold on. So right tricky. there, you can see the little... You can see just a little. Ah, where was You're seeing pen? the hitbox originate at the, the the connection is originating oh, there we at go. his feet. There we yeah. go. Now you can see the little foot footsie right there. Martha's still in chill. He's like, I'm fine. I don't know what you're talking about. And then yeah, next frame he explodes. That, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's his foot for sure. That's his foot, which is like in that instance. Even if you if you had the presence of mind, you would be angling your shields up. I think Mono was just doing normal shield down, but the fact yeah. that he hits.